Hello you guys and welcome by the Orchid Saga. Today I am going to do a blooming update for the month of uh, June. And I hope it's on time on my channel, but always a good excuse to film some beautiful blooms, isn't there? Isn't it? Um, this one, this is uh, you probably saw it before, it's now going over slowly, but this one was for a quite a long time in bloom with two beautiful spikes. These are pretty much gone. It's a no ID, so I don't uh, don't have a name for you guys. And this one, I hope it will show because of the backlight. It's kind of hard to film, but this one is opened up almost completely. And this one has a name. Let me show it to you guys. Rinko Stella Violet von Holm. Yeah, it's hard to read, but that's uh, does the tag say. Um, there's a spike, but there are no blooms. Those are no blooms, they are coming. This is one of the Saigos, actually it's a Saigo Cross. And I'm sorry, I have a bit of backlight. Let me try to show it this way. It has two spikes. These are the older blooms, and these guys, yesterday and today, they opened. So the colors are a bit f more vibrant, but beautiful blooms, beautiful. And then down below here we still have my Sturbeck Red in full bloom. Don't mind this manky leaf, it's on an older bulb. But yeah, this one loves to bloom. It had at least five spikes this time for me. And Above that one we have this beauty and I really like the shape of these blooms They're so so different actually than the other ones, but I really like it. They have a Creamy yellow color and it has two blooms there, but I noticed this time I don't have it as long, but we have another one here we have a bud there and a bloom in the back as well and there is a bloom, so that makes five already. Yeah, at least five blooms. One is going over. That's here, but this is a beautiful, uh, beautiful orchid. It's a cross. Let me grab the tag. Yeah, I think it's a Promania, Promania cross. I think. I, it's, a, it's a no ID. I don't have the name for it. I'm sorry. I thought I did for a second, but I didn't. Then we have my Miltonia Obsessus. And I think this one, they all bought uh, as a no ID, but I think this one is the Miltonia Obsessus Cream Puff. The Amber Crossed with Lin, Linne Wayne or something like that. I'm not completely sure. <laughs> Four spikes, and I counted them. I have three spikes with six blooms and one with five, so that makes 23 blooms on this one. This is the this is the showstopper. <laughs> Next to it we have the Newton Falls. These blooms are quite new. There are two, three there actually. Three blooms. You can see the. It's a little bit darker of color. These just recently opened. These guys are a little bit longer here. Oh, the fragrance on this one is fantastic. And so that's the Newton Falls from the Incas. And then we have this beauty, still blooming, two beautiful spikes, kind of quite large blooms as well. Beautiful. And an almost similar one. So we do get a little bit of the, those brown marks already, so maybe it's coming over. I'm not sure if something happened to it, but I think they will be here for a little while. A Princess Diana variety. Also very beautiful. And next to it, also a favorite. Yeah, they are. Well, Tony Opsis are all my favorites. <laughs> but it's almost like a bleeding heart. I think, and I, uh, yeah, I think you can see it, especially on this one. It's like it makes a heart shape with 
with blue, uh, with uh, blood, <laughs> yeah, bleeding heart, I think. But I, I like the pattern. It's beautiful. A little bit of yellow there, within that red and above a red, but also in that red. I hope you can see it. And this one has another spike there with three blooms, and five on this one. Next to it, another variety of the Princess Diana. This one is going over, as you can see. But I saw some new spikes coming, and in the back another one, and I, in there is also one, so this one uh, will bloom again pretty soon. And also, after quite a while, we have a Nelly Eiler. I think it's a red velvet, red velvet, obviously also no idea, but beautiful form. I personally love the fragrance of this one. I, there are different opinions about it, but I uh, like the fragrance of the Nelly Eiler. The Alkmaar is still still blooming for a very long time, but it's now starting to go. But it likes to bloom, and this one is also a very and one of the favorites. The Iris Mist, Od Odonto Glossum, Odonto Cidium, Iris Mist, I think. But uh, yeah, beautiful one. A nice pending spike so this is uh, what is is blooming in the uh, orchid room let's go uh, into the greenhouse and it's raining and i have my fans running so it's a little bit noisy i'm sorry for that the um because it's raining for a few days now let me show the quickly show you to the eyes 59 percent immunity that's kind of high so therefore i like to uh, have that air moving otherwise i will get uh, mold. <clears throat> this is my uh, Rene Marquez. But uh, the color is fading, so that means it uh, will be gone pretty soon. And my red Epidendra still, and this one is opening up. It's also a beautiful one. Three blooms will be there. Beautiful yellow one. And another... Yeah, I bought it uh, as an orange one. It's an orange-yellow color but this one likes really likes to bloom it's it's in bloom for quite a time now and this is also a beautiful then layups is blue indigo crossed with indigo so probably <laughs> it's still indigo I think um, and look at this a beautiful yellow one this one is very very fragrant and I have a name for this one I saw it the first time at uh, Annabelle's, the orchid room. And uh, it's the Fell Yapon Deep Coffee crossed with Zeng Min Turtle Dove. Beautiful one. Sadly, mine has crown rot. But it's still blooming, it still has beautiful roots, so I'm not sure what it will do. And this is a fairly new one opened up. The Karen. Yeah, Karen Alba. Phenoliopsis Karen, uh, 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 I'm sorry, Ola, not Alba, but Ola. I'm sorry, there it is, Karen Ola. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. Colors do remind me a little bit of um, the Francis Fox, the Lelia Francis Fox, of Mer Mermaid Catleya, I'm sorry, Francis Fox. I never had that one in bloom, I just recently did a care lab, but uh, the colors are uh, kind of similar, I think. But a very, um, very strong, strong colors on this one. And then we have the other files. I will show them like this because otherwise this video will be extremely long. <laughs> but just have a beautiful overview. This one is still here for quite a long time, and it's starting a, a second spike. I see a few of them making second spikes, so that's nice, of course. And we have this one in bloom again. Something balanced, if I'm correct but I cannot, cannot read the name tag quite easily but if you really want to know let me uh, know it in the comments and I will uh, look it up for you a first time bloomer this one beautiful this is the Sogo Meili something Fell uh, Meili Sogo I think it's Sogo Meili Sogo something like that but at least Meili Sogo and you will find it but um, yeah, beautiful like I said, a first time bloomer, so that's uh, that's nice. 
and like I said I still have uh, beautiful spikes coming very thick one this when I bought it it was uh, I had uh, quite large pink flowers so I uh, hope they will be quite large again then we have this epidendrum the this is a real orange one if you in my opinion but it's going over I just recently did repot it so uh, most of the times so they don't uh, hold on their blooms too long uh, my cattleyas are not uh, there yet so I hope in the coming months I will have some blooms on them but we have also another first time bloom over here it's not this one this is my polar fire but it has a beautiful new new strong spike this one is getting bigger and bigger it was kind of poor when I uh, bought it but this spike is also from the same plant and this one is going over now but you can see these buds are yet to be opened but it's starting to uh, yeah getting some uh, energy in there I think this is the first time a bloomer for me beautiful bloom and yes I have a tag for this one it's something puff something puff um, dendrobium of 58 yellow fragrant that was what it said on the tag but the first uh, first bloom I really really enjoy these Phenoliopsis dendrobium Phenoliopsis type dendrobiums I really enjoy them and this one is now going over at least this spike this side this is still open this is the Anna Green Splash from Sun Oak and a green splash. This is the Anna Green without the splash. Still going strong. This one is these both of them are getting stronger as well. When I just had them, you can see they not they are not very big in size yet. So when they started to bloom, the blooms weren't there long, maybe two weeks, so that's very short for a dendrobium. But now they are well I think at least for two months already. So there's uh, some progression. My snow jade is also just opening up. Beautiful one. And it's facing the light, of course. We have some room left there, but yeah, we may uh, end up uh, having some problems later on. Later on. This one as well, but I will turn them around when, uh, when a few more blooms are opening up. Uh, this is the pink splash, if I'm correct, I'm sorry beautiful very vibrant colors this one was in bloom for the longest time of all of my dendrobium phenoliopsis types and it's already uh, starting to bloom again and I have another one above here I hope the colors will uh, show up quite well and it has another spike <coughs> beautiful blooms let me grab the tag because I think it's something Esmeralda but I have to look it up uh, Burana Emeralda Splash. That should be this one. I know I have to put a tag back. That's why I don't like <laughs> getting the tags out. But I like to mention the name for you guys. And I just caught another spike there because it's high on the shelf. I didn't see it before. Do you see? As far as I can see, it's not a very, very big spike few blooms, four so far, but still, it's a spike. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's move over. These are not in bloom yet, but I have twinkle spikes coming. And this is the first time that I, I actually have three spikes on one bulb. It's kind of normal for them, but so far I only had one or two, uh, because they weren't that happy. But this, I think this is uh, a good sign, obviously. These spikes are a little bit more progressed. You have to keep an eye on that bolt there. And this one, I should have taken the spike off, I think, because these are the older growths and that's the newest one. This is going the other way around. Again, I, did, I had a, a struggle with them a bit, but they starting to recoup. But I like the bloom so much. I think I uh, let it uh, let it bloom. I think I'm not completely sure yet. And also, this one has a spike there um, and my Katrina Zuck is working on some spikes as well 
so that will be in bloom soon. But here are some axial blooms. I really, really love the color of these guys. Beautiful. This is one of my biggest plants that I showed you in a, uh, another video. I see at least four more spikes. So we have two in bloom, four more coming. But I wouldn't be, be surprised if there e are even coming more. And this is Brotania Shela crossed with Ringonia Mariella. For those who want to know that, let me put back the tag. This, uh, you probably will uh, recognize it. This one is for quite a long time in bloom already. Oh, I don't know how long they will be here, but this is the sh Shale of Tolkien. Then we have my Miltoniopsis Sunset. With spots, yes I know. I think that's a trade from the uh, one of the parents. But I bought it as a golden uh, golden yay, if you if I pronounce it correct, but I don't uh, believe it is. I have an actual uh, golden yay, small plant. It's one of the like I said, one of the parents. But I think this is just a trade from uh, from that parent plant facing up, because the rest of it it's really, to me it says sunset, nothing else. So, uh, but that I always mention it because it has some spots on it. Three spikes so far in bloom. Beautiful. I really, really, really like these guys. One of my most favorites. I absolutely. That yellow, that pink, it works for me. <laughs> uh, right above my shelf, there are some spikes coming on this uh, Brassia, this Miltonia, still working on the spikes. These take a heck of a long time. But someday they probably will be blooming. And this one, this one is crazy. <laughs> Uh, I counted at least 10 spikes on this and I think it's a Miltonia summer summer breeze uh, let me turn it around a little bit so we can so I can show you the, the blooms the first two are starting but officially it's a no ID and I know there is a Odonto Glossum type that has no it's actually a Bellera if I'm correct that has quite similar uh, blooms but I think it's a, uh, a Miltonia, but look, yeah, I think, Summer Breeze. That's how I call it, so I, uh, it's a bit easier for me to, uh, for the notes, to keep notes of them. So that's why I uh, like the names. Some spikes coming on this one. This is a Cross Ringonia Osteori Alba. I cannot get a, a tag out. Probably a root attached to it, but that's uh, for some blooms to come. Then we have this one, also a very big plant, my Ragnelii. And this this is working on quite some spikes as well. Five, six, I think that there are even more, but quite, quite a lot of them, so I will have for quite a time these beautiful blooms around I really like them and it's such a big plant in the back there we have the orange delight the brushia orange delight if I'm correct or bratonia brushia I do not remember but this one is almost fully opened as well beautiful beautiful spikes I like the spidery types as well and we have another one here See, this is also quite a large plant. Beautiful, beautiful spike. It looks so beautiful. And I have this on the ground now because it was uh, standing on top of the shelf. But the spikes did reach the roof. <laughs> it was a little bit too big. So I let it bloom on the floor. Beautiful display, I think. And there are even coming more. So let me get you a, give you an overview of them and there's the, another big one also starting to bloom yes. it's really beautiful I think um, did I miss one M miss one I don't think so let me give you one more look at the fells a little less blooms than a few months back but still quite uh, quite some spikes and like I said I have some uh, secondary spikes coming so that's uh, very nice. 
my Phenoliopsis wall. It's always nice. This is an old. No, I thought this is an old spike. Look, I didn't see this one before. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I really, I was, I'm a little bit surprised. This one just just recently stopped uh, blooming, and it was dehydrated, but it's it's back again. It's really beautiful. That that did go quite quick, actually. But look, yes, another one. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Purple one is still here as well. This one has beautiful leaves, very strong leaves. I'm working a bit with the calcium, but actually for over a year now. I was really inspired, as many I think, uh, by uh, Rick Els. Uh, his channel, it's really worth to have a look. But I really um, feel the difference in the leaves. They are very, so much stronger than before. Calcium, nitrogen, and magnesium. Yes, this really firm. I, ca I cannot bend this. If I bend it, I break it. <laughs> so I don't uh, do that, obviously. And do I see another spike coming? Yes, you guys. Seriously, look at that. I hadn't planned this. Planned this <laughs> for this video, but I hope you can see it just underneath my finger. Another one. This is the beautiful orange one, if I'm correct. And that one is. Uh, yeah, making another spike. Oh, and this one opened. Oh, I'm almost missed it. This is a Peloric one. And I bought it, and it's okay, but I don't. I'm not a big fan of the Peloric version. I'm sorry. In all of the plants, it's not my. Not, not really what I like. It's just a personal preference there. I know, that's all. But yeah. Yeah. A lot of people really, really love them. But what I personally like is sometimes just these the quotation marks. Simple big blooms of a veil. Or these big lips I really do enjoy. But yeah, if I look look at them and then have a look at this one. No, it's not, not complete. I, I do enjoy smaller blooms, but just the normal ones. Like these guys. And this one is fragrant actually, so that's a big plush. And this one, yeah, the bigger the blooms, the better for me, in most cases. Uh, yeah, like I said, we have a spike there, coming. This one is already blooming, oh, it's almost over, but it's also working on another spike to enjoy for us. Um, yeah, so there are a few new spikes. And we have this one, the modeled one. With this very, very long spike. Let me uh, go a little bit back <laughs> and they can see it. Beautiful. I really love that when they do that. Long spikes and bending over. Yes, I love it. Oh my, my Bellina. It's a version of the Bellina. It's, it has a second bloom opened. Also a beauty. Okay, you guys, I think I did show you all the blooms so far. Uh, I really like filming this. It's just beautiful. Simply blooms. What, what more do we need? <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed these videos as well. Um, and for now, I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you didn't already have, please consider subscribing to my channel. I really enjoy it. And I'm really happy with the new subscribers. Thank you so much. And for now, I just hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.